Welcome back again. I got my boy over here. Gonna introduce him in a second. First, I wanna apologize for the voice. You know, I've been working so hard. I've been up so late for y'all. Bro, I ain't been eating right, I ain't been sleeping right. So, you know, I'm a little bit under the weather, but we getting back together. We about 75%. So, what's up, man? Go ahead and introduce yourself. It's my dude right here. I know y'all think it's my security, but this motherfucker is a CEO. And go ahead and uh, address yourself. First off, man, thanks for being, uh, you know, Thanks for doing doing what you're doing, man. I think it's great. The platform's great. You're you're big help to a lot of people, man. It's been cool connecting with my brother. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm with uh, Barry Loves Boobs. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm Barry with Barry Loves Boobs, and so uh, yeah, man. We are we're an adult brand, obviously, as the name you know mm -hmm. says, man. We're focused on on, on on boob, man. We got a lot of our content is breast related. It's very niche, and. Uh, we like to stay true to that, man, and just having fun with it, man. Some different. There's been other brands that come before, you know, and probably some that come after, but it's our time right now to kind of put the shine on the bustier women out there, the curvier women. <laughs> yeah. Shall I say? Shall I say? Hey, everybody needs love. The big girls and the big titty girls, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so check it, man. Listen, I've been vibing and connecting with my boy for a minute now, but he be in and out of town, always traveling, and I said, yo, Barry, I gotta, you know, get an interview with you at some point. But um, he actually had hit me up, said he was back in town. I thought, hold on, the timing is perfect because I got another uh, special request that I kind of, um, it's not that I was putting it off, it's that I had to like kind of conceptualize how I wanted to tackle this because I want to give quality, I want to give value, um, you know, especially when guys are, you know, spending money to donate and I got to give them their money's worth. So I'm going to go ahead and read out this email that I got from the brother. And um, I'm gonna tell you how I feel like it correlates to my boy Barry and what he do. Uh, so check it out. This is from the man. I mean, obviously his mama ain't name him that, but that's cool. Um, yo, what's good, Allende? I love your content and have been getting valuable tips since your channel was Tips and Whips, brother. You work, oh, sorry, your work has opened my eyes to many different ways of looking at the shit we deal with as men but in life not just with women and that's really why your channel is different for me like when you said guys that value themselves should only hit on sevens and above because women will reject you anyway most of the time so why give a female below you an opportunity to reject you yo that's facts and i only try to get at top-notch women ever since <laughs> and my success has gone down but the quality of chicks i bang has gone up so thanks for that lol uh my situation though is is that I do enjoy porn still. <laughs> yes, I get laid usually at least once per week, but I still watch it. I know your views on the porn industry uh, for the most part, but I would like to request a video discussing why men should not consume it at all or if there is a healthy balance. Really just interested in hearing your take on it, man. I value your input. Thanks in advance, and also I have made a donation of fifty dollars to your Cash App. It's actually sixty bucks. He he had to send another ten because I'm doing sixty and up now, guys. I'm, I'm getting busy. What can I what can I tell you? Um, so either way, it's long overdue tuition. Please invest it in your channel so more guys can get some game. Cheers. All right. So let me uh, let me thank uh, the man for his contribution. Always appreciated, and um, you know. Myself as well as Barry, we're constantly trying to upgrade our, our, our equipment so that we can create better content. So that is greatly appreciated. All right, so the reason why I said, hold on, let me kind of try to put this together and kill two birds with one stone is because I've been wanting to interview, uh, you know what I'm saying, my dude because he's, he's an entrepreneur. He's doing his thing. Now, as he's about to uh, you know, explain to you guys, he's in the adult industry, 
right? So a lot of you guys know how I feel about the adult industry. Um, it's not that I'm passing judgment. It's not that I'm ridiculing. It's just I'm being honest. Me personally, I never was interested in porn. I never watched it. I'm not, you know, interested in it at all. Um, and I think a lot of guys get lost in it and they use it as a cope. And it actually prevents them from getting out there, getting in the streets, tackling real women, uh, literally and figuratively. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and it, it kind of gives guys a pass to kind of not be as animated or, um, you know, as um, resilient when it comes to hollering at broads. Because as we all know, you might holler at... Keep going. Yeah, you might holler at like 15 chicks. You might get one number. It's tough out here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, you know what? Why not bring on somebody to debate um, this issue? Because I feel like as men, we have to be able to respect one another, um, accept and respect each other's views, but still be able to disagree. Um, so we are definitely on different ends of the spectrum, and I fucks with them regardless because I deal with people on a personal level. I can compartmentalize, like you know, what I'm saying I don't agree with fighting for for uh, you know the country, you know, going and killing other people in other countries and whatnot. But I support the troops. I support the individual men that are in the military. Right, right, right. I got family members, my cousins, I got my, my, my closest friends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they're vets, they done went to Afghanistan, they done went to Iraq, they done put bodies in the ground for this country. All that. Um, but I wouldn't do it. I had to talk my little brother out of doing it, right? right? right. But that's not going to make me have an issue with a soldier. You, you understand, right, right. You, you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, as a person, right. I fucks with them. Right. 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 right, but right. I personally, I don't believe, you know what I'm saying, in what the country is doing and exactly. how, to, how to use in our men yeah. to, to, as pro, you know, to be profiteers or whatever. So Absolutely. I want to hear your side of it. First, tell us, yeah. you know, how you even got into the industry. Because I, I know he genuinely does love big boobs. You know that. <laughs> Can't fake on that. So he's, so he's definitely being authentic to himself, which makes him a prime candidate for this channel because I want people that are authentic, brother. Authentic alphas, yeah. Right, so tell us about yourself and how you got started. Yeah, man. Um, wow. I mean, let me try to date back. I, I, I've done a couple of interviews now. I still feel like, you know, I'm uh, still new to the interview game, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it feels very familiar, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, I tell people, you know, how it started, I, obviously, uh, like me becoming a boob guy, I get that a question like, how'd you come up, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I do want to say one thing, let me just dial back. I'm not necessarily a boob, I am a breast man, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a little bit more than that, right? Okay. It's not like I'm just a breast, like I love, right. I love booty as well. I okay, love yeah, yeah, yeah. women, I love the whole woman, yeah. yeah. The whole head to toe. That's how I am with feet, like yeah. I, I don't have a foot fetish, I like the whole woman. The whole package, right. The whole right. package, right. yeah, yeah. But, yeah. The thing about it is, for me, the kind of boobies I like, man, they're rare. They're rare. <laughs> we, where do we live? Miami, bro. We can look around. It's hard to find them here. No, no. All you see the is ass ones. out here. Yeah, and fake titties. And fake tits, right? Right. You don't see. We so. You don't see what I like. It's, yeah. it's super rare. He actually likes the mammary glands. He likes the <laughs> he likes the ones that actually make milk. I like I like it when the letters in the bra size get very like towards the end of the alphabet. You know what I mean? Like the, yeah, like the average guy like double D's big. I, mean, I don't want to like say it's not big. You know, like listen, uh -huh. I've dated girl. My best girlfriends is you know like, has small C cup. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, that's fine. You know, I, I can, that's my thing. I, I like I like I like C cup. Yeah, that's my shit. I don't have yeah. to like. You know what I mean? I never really, I've dated probably, the biggest I've ever dated probably was, she had a reduction and it still were like triple Ds, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? That's regret. That's the biggest I ever personally like dated. Whoa, well, take that back. I'm just, that's a long-term relationship. I have dated some girls that were like much bigger, but. Right. Anyway, how it started, man. Third grade, granddad's porn collection. Uh, I found a VHS, I'm telling my age right now. I found about 200 VHS, you know, uh, tapes in, in the shed, right? I, I go in, I pop that joint in the VCR, and yo, like first scene, oh God. they was flat. The girls right. And I was like, damn. And I saw, I had the homeboys come over, man, we were all back here. We were watching, y'all yeah, see yeah, this? Y'all yeah, gotta see this. Y'all gotta see this. Oh, and we're man. just watching it, and we did slow motion. You know, we like, the fruit roll-ups and the gushers. You gotta see this. <laughs> I gotta see that. And then I had a homeboy say, and, he, and we're, this is third, we're third grade. 
He gave me was giving me his lunch money to get the videos. I started writing them shits out like a third. Like, so you was you was in the industry when you was a kid. You know, I never told this before. Yo, low key, like, yo, like he was already a dealer when he was like a kid. All the way up in the middle school, all the way up in the high school. God. Yeah, man, like so that's crazy. But oh, that, shit. that's kind of how it started. And then I just remember every year, I just remember like shout out to Denise. I ain't gonna say that. Denise P. I didn't say the whole name, but I remember Denise. Uh, you know, fifth grade. She was one of the early. You know, early developers, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And she had those, like, these double, they damn well double D's in fifth grade. You were like, we can make some money together. We can get some, we get some chocolate milks together. Yeah, I mean, yo, I was super fun. I was a fun geeky kid, but, yo, I used to geek, I, I used to love looking at sixth grade, oh, Maria, i never forget them things. You know, every grade, there was always that one girl. I was sitting, I mean, and then, this is back in there. You, you was giving out awards for every grade. You were like, at the fifth grade, to the award goes to. <laughs> Dude, that's how uh, that's the love and the passion for Boop. That's kind of where it, it started out, man. Right. And and, and I've always been a, con, uh, a con, I won't say connoisseur. I would say I, at one point I was a connoisseur. I was a, a, a porn connoisseur, believe it or not. Okay. Like I'm talking about like all types of videos. I mean, yeah, my but, shit. But did it stop you from getting at women in real life, though? Nah, man, it did not. It was the opposite. It kind of encouraged you. Yeah, that's what I tell people. Sometimes, like. Sometimes does art imitate life, life imitate art, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it was one of them things, see, certain people built different, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was like, I look at it and say, yo, I need that. Yeah. Some guys look and say, I can't have, and so this is. So I'll settle for this. Yeah, if you're beating off, whatever the case is, right. that's your that's your win, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, There's some right. guys that that, that, that that may, even this era, may message a girl on OnlyFans, on Instagram, and get mm -hmm. a nude from her, I see this all the time. I'm. I'm not this kind of guy. No, I ain't knocking it. I'm not knocking yeah, it. Yeah, we ain't knocking you. We're just saying. Guys, they, 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 there's a website, you know, forums, you know, tits and tops, where these guys are trading nudes. They just like to see the nudes. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, I can't. I, I'm not just a nude guy. Yeah, I can't do anything with this. I, they call it wins. I hate when girls send you a nude. I'm like, well. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with this? I haven't asked for them in a long time. I mean, yeah, yeah like, like, I can't do nothing with this. If you're in another city, another state, another country, what what you trying to do? Right. I mean, be, I mean, yeah, listen. Yeah. yeah, we all beat. I mean, but look, look. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I look now like, I always kind of knew that, listen, if I see this, I'm going to try to get this. Right. And I've been that. You know, like, mm -hmm. going back from Maryland, D.C. area, going back to the times I would go out in D.C. If I see that rare one I'm looking for, or you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta out. get that opportunity. You gotta yeah. get on it. Hello. Hi. How Listen, you doing? Hi. Yeah. And I love your titties. I, I, yeah. Well, there's different techniques to that, but yeah, yeah. sometimes you, you gauge. And I that. just tell people how I feel. Man. Yeah. yeah. It, it's worked for me so far, so yeah. I just tell them straight up. Actually, I, I'm the same. Now you thing. saw the other night we were on South Beach. I told that girl straight up after the interview. I was like, Yo, man, nice titties, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I, hey, but I was clear to tell you guys. Though, and I'm actually uploading that video right now, so you can check me out. <laughs> well, actually, this will come after, so yeah. you would have already checked me out, so yeah. you know what I'm talking about. But I tell, Hey, that girl from Montreal. I was like, Yo. Whew, the one that the one the, 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 the cheetah dress, I was like, yo, yes, that was nice titties. Was... All right, say goodbye to the to the guy. Bye. 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 Nice titties, but hey, but here's the thing though, not every guy can get away with that. Not every some guys will get slapped, some guys will get told on. Uh, I'm I will say this the people who really know me, especially out here in Miami, I lived in Vegas, mm -hmm. I'm from the DMV. They know that I, I get, I've said a lot of shit, man. And shit that the average guy just wouldn't be able to say, man. Be able to say. And you know what? Why? Your show's authentic outfits, right? Yeah, right. There's gotta, a level hey, of authenticity to what I'm gotta saying. Be honest. This is brutally honest. Right. Like there's some humor in there too. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, I've said some shit, bro. But see, here's the thing: the guy that won't tell her how he feels about her titties yeah. is the guy that will stare at her titties while he talks to her. Yeah. So you're sell, you're saying the same which is thing, a party, which is a party foul. Right. You're saying the same thing to her. You're giving right. the same message, but you're giving it like a beta. Right. You exactly. see what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're giving a message as if you're ashamed of yourself. Right. Right? When you are clear with her, yeah. it's like, listen, don't be mad at me. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you wore that shit. Yo, there's a level of vulnerability with you being authentic like that. And and uh -huh. I'm not speaking for all women, obviously, but I, the ones I've done that with, here's the vibe I've gotten, right? Uh -huh. When you do something like that, they're like, look at him. He's, you know... Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's, he's, they find it kind of cute a little right. bit that you can be open up and be vulnerable and authentic and borderline right. goofy. You'd be like, mm -hmm. I love, I love you too. Look at the, oh yeah, my look God. at his titties. Oh, I would just, oh, yeah, oh, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> because part of them wants that. Because the, the truth of the matter is, they want that uh, response. They want it, but they want it from a certain guy. We already know what it is. But how would you know if you're that guy, right? And not only that, but how would you know how to work on becoming more of that guy? Because it's inside of a lot of us, right? It's not about being, like, for example, you always hear this expression, right? Girls will be like, oh, well, just be yourself. Right. All right, this is the part that they're leaving out, right? You got to be your true self. You got to be your full self. You got to be your your maximus, right? You got to yeah. be your maximum self. Right, right, right. Because it's in there, right? Because right? you already see, he already knew what it was from a young age. He already knew, like, hey, this is... This yeah. is what it, this is what it is, right? It you is. already knew. Yeah. But if you didn't nurture that, right? You didn't incubate that and make it the maximum of what it could be, you would be somewhere at a desk job working for somebody else, right? Trying to keep a been, lid. Been there, done that. Right. Trying to keep a lid on it. Right. Right. Trying to keep a lid on who Content. and what you really are. Exactly. Yeah. I've been, been there, done that. That's what I'm trying to say. Can't do it anymore. Right. You don't want to be the tiger in the cage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking bull yeah. in a china shop. That's what I'm trying to you say. I mean? So hold on. Did you grow up in Vegas or you like moved? No, no, to no, Vegas? no. I lived in Vegas for two years, man. Mm -hmm. uh, work stuff took me out there in the form of life. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. um, it was the best one. I was year. about to say, do you think things happen for a reason that you ended up in Vegas for a whole nother? Was Dude, a whole nother reason that moved you. Thousand percent. But it bro. turned out to be the environment for you. I mean, I'm talking about everything. DC being the mm -hmm. prime. Back mm -hmm. when I was in DC, it was DC was the the urban club mecca in, mm -hmm. of the United States of America. Club, oh yeah, club, and dream, of course. And we used to, we used to drive there from Virginia. Yeah, party. These, people drive from New York. It was mm -hmm. the the mecca. Well, if you're black. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Urban, City. Urban, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the mecca at the time. Club love, four, mega club, club dream, mega club. Yep. Four five. I worked at the second best club, age twelve for years doing security. Mm -hmm. It was security to meet the girls, man. I had a nice little IT job, man. I'm doing I'm doing okay. They got some hot girls in DC. Hot bro. ones, and they and they bossy too. Yeah, some hot sisters, bro. Yeah, and they classy too. Too, Cause those are the ones that be dating white boys and whatnot. So yeah, well, you now, know. Well, now it's a yeah, whole different. It's yeah. a whole world. It's a, well, it's those a I said, notice I said dating, yeah, not dating. hooking up. Yeah, with. yeah. Cause they'll yeah, they'll hold hands with that and yeah. be all sophisticated and mal mannered. But right. we already know after midnight, couple drinks in them. Yeah, they yeah, go back to old faithful. Yeah, then when they were, and so I went to Vegas. It was like it, the opportunity literally fell on my lap. Right, the dude was like, hey. He knew I was working with this government guy. G government, like, he, I was sharing an office. He's a GS, like, uh, you know anything about government? He's high up government. Get ready to retire. Right. I'm showing, he, oh, he looks like, he looks like Archie Bunker. Right. And I hear him, young black dude, and, yep. and I'm, loving, I'm going on vacation. He's, he's like, he's I'm like showing this him, guy can go get it. I showed him a picture from Vegas, me coming yeah. from Memorial, some pictures, and he knew that I love Vegas. Yeah. And so the guy basically got fired. I was doing what I do out there. He said, and he left the voicemail. Yeah, I fired Stuart. The job is yours if you want it. He, that's, you can't even do that. It's like it's totally again. Like you can't he, say no to that. You can't. Yeah, I mean, you, it's a, he can't. He, he, can't say no. I told my cousin, no. I said, I got an opportunity. He was like, yo, take that shit. I said, yeah, I ran out there. Get didn't know anybody. So it was great. I was a primer. And they come out to Miami, same thing, man. My contract ended. It was like, you want to go Jeremy? You to Miami? I said, Miami. And then here I am, six figure job, Miami, da da da. Mm -hmm. and, and guess what my schedule was? I got to Miami. Two to 10. What, 2, 2 p.m. PM to, to 10, 10 8 and p.m. And I, yeah. I thought I was, I was kind of like, ew. I, I was used to getting out early, getting in yeah. early, getting out. Yo, from Miami, you know what I know? That's the best schedule in the world, bro. Oh, I see what you're saying. I, yeah. you mean, I work my regular professional corporate job. Everybody leaves 5, 6 o'clock. I got a couple customers there. I'm working 2 to 10. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm six figure plus. This, I can go out right when I get off. Yeah. And I said, already shit dressed. All you got to do is loosen up the tie. Yeah. <laughs> and, dude, they got a gym on site at the military base. Bro, I'm living the life in Miami, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, like, so, granted, I'm not living doing what I'm doing now. But it was a all that was a primer. Primer. Because it all back to your point of things happen for a reason. For a reason. And my the relationships that I started developing with a lot of the girls that were in mm -hmm. porn started then. Mm -hmm. And I started not you know I started you know what I'm saying having relationships with girls that were in the business. You know what I'm saying it's I knew way to learn. Yeah, you're, yeah. Like, you're learning how things are done and a little bit more about behind the scenes, and then you're realizing wow, there's a place for me here because these girls are just doing. This, you know what I'm saying? They're doing this part. Yeah. And they're only they're only limiting themselves to this because they don't want to do all this other shit. Right. And it's like, hold on. I can learn how to do all that other shit. Yeah. I can manage that that other that other stuff. Yeah. So all right, so tell us a little bit about your um I mean go ahead and, and um plug your yeah your, actually your page and um No doubt, yeah. <coughs> uh, so I got it? Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> shit. Yo, uh so Barry Barry loves boobs. Um uh -huh. on Instagram it's Barry Barry's 
B-A-R-R-Y-S, loves, L-O-V-E-S, world. You know, that's the at. And then on Twitter, it's boobsberry. And we also have a Barry Loves Boobs Twitter page as well. Um, and then, um, yeah, on other platforms, OnlyFans is Barry Loves Boobs with like two S's. Um, forget OnlyFans right now, I'm having a problem with them. You know what I mean? But we're coming alive. I don't think you have a problem with them. I think you have a problem with that chick. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's a whole, ugh, that's a whole other can of paint. But uh, yeah, we're coming on all platforms, man. It's a big pivotal time right now. I also have on Instagram, Barry's Boot Fest, which we did our first fest uh, event. Yeah, man, you gotta invite me to one. Well, you did. I, I couldn't go that last one you invited yeah, me to, yeah. but I'm gonna make it out to one of those. Yeah, man, come for set educational up. purposes. You so, know what I mean? You set up a show there, it'd be great. That'd yeah, be a great I'm show. Gonna just, I'm gonna go out there and get some interviews, yeah. try to learn a little something. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're launching the podcast. I'm doing a podcast too, man. So it's gonna be like, that's what you I'm know, saying. like that's it's, it's, it's gonna be great synergy there, man. A lot of great mm-hmm. names, and cross interview. promote, cross from that. It'd be amazing. Yep. So I think the first one we'll do next one in May. It's gonna be in Orlando. That's May. Uh, when what Barry's Boot Fest is, it's a content event, two days of content with um, other girls, um, and, uh-huh. and you know that have you know content pages, but rather be you know uh, fan site, only fans, whatever, right? Um, Content creators and we have adult film stars, former adult film stars, kind of all in one. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's not necessarily like a crazy fuck fest or some shit like that, but like it's really. And then we do a fan event, right? And so the mm-hmm. fans, we have a pool party. Um, last time we did the Boob Olympics, different contests and stuff like that. I did the Boob Awards. I handed out a couple of different awards. You know what I'm saying? Olympics. We're gonna keep expanding on that. I mean, we want to get the, the we want to shed light. Mm-hmm. On the boobies as much as possible. And it sounds like right. a, it's a fun game, bro. Like, no, 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 I, but it's dead ass serious. It. Like, bro, it. we're gonna read the AVNs. We want the boob award mm-hmm. to be a real deal thing. We want the boob award. Yes, if you have some big boobs and you're looking at this, or you know a girl with some big boobs and you say, you know what, girl, you she went interested, tell her to get at me. This happens all the time now. Right. You know, well, we, well, we well, launch well, I mean, them out there. So I will say this, right? Because one of the things that I don't, uh, appreciate about the adult industry is the way that they use and exploit the females yeah right but i can say you know that my boy right here he treats the women like people like human beings right yeah he has a genuine friendship and rapport with these women and i think that you deal with women more as um you know like a like a a collaborative uh, yeah. A relationship than you yeah. do a, a exploitative one, right? right? You're not like yeah. above them, like, like let me just, turn, turn, right? right turn let me use her up, you know, and get her out of here. Right. Um, it's more like a genuine uh, friendship and connection. I've seen women come to him for all kind of non business related <laughs> things. You know what I mean? Just being someone that's there, that's supportive, yeah, um, and, and and genuine. So. I mean, is that just you? That well, I mean, yeah. I, I know that's just you as a person, but I mean, do you actually think that there's value in that? Be, being that it's so different from what they usually experience. You know, it's funny. Yeah, there is. First off, and, and you know, I'm thinking about it, and it's like I was watching one of your videos on manipulation or whatever earlier, and it's like never was my int. My whole intent was not to. Manipulate like the industry mm-hmm. does. Does that make sense? Right, exactly. But well, I'm thinking about it, it's probably still is a form of manipulation, right? But no, but my thing well, is, manipulation isn't a bad thing. It's not right. That's right. What I'm it's just it's convincing not. someone to do what you want them to do. Right now, that could be bad or good for them. Right, depends. Right, right. So you know, my whole thing is, you know, and, I, and I'm tying this back to something you mentioned earlier, right? In terms mm-hmm. of um, like being authentic, right? It's not just you saying which how you feel. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, it's also about, you said, when to say, you have to know your audience, you have to know who you're talking to, you know your right, subject. Right, right, That's how you gauge, and that takes a level of just knowing people, mm-hmm. right? It's the smallest thing, it could be the look, the little smirks you get, it could be the, right. the you know what I mean? Oh, you know, you, and I've been the, the class clown kid that could talk to everybody in school. Mm-hmm. So I, I've, I've had a variety of friends from, from geeky, right, right. geeks yeah, to jocks. Geeks, whatever, yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with everybody. Race don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm like, I, I feel like I really know people. And so that's helped me like, with the women and life in general. Mm-hmm. I do have a bunch of sisters as well, so I got a lot of respect for women in general, right? Right. So when it comes to like doing this, yo, and especially my niche, the thing is, it's so funny, this is so organically, 
thing I told you the other day. This is funny. I, I, I was just in a in a room with uh, some porn stars, content creators, whatever you want to call them, right? Mm -hmm. And you know they were shooting, and one of the guys was there. And this guy's a new guy. He's getting, he's doing his thing in the biz, but yo, totally different way of coming into the biz, right? And I'm listening to him talk, and it, I'm catching up on a gazillion years of gossip. Inadvertently, obviously, right? But I didn't like. You know, it's not. I don't gossip, but like <laughs> and he's telling, he's spilling the beans and the tea. And I know some of these people. I'm like, damn, dog. That's a Grammy. I said, I'm glad I came in the way I came in, and I right. in like that. Yeah, that's how I they mean. Do it sounds like a Grammy. And so, and I told, I called one of my girls. Look, I'm so glad. Like things have a reason because, like, I'm a, I'm in porn. I don't really look at myself as a porn star. Right. I shoot. Yeah, I, mean, all the time. I shoot stuff, but <laughs> I stick true to the booby stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, yeah. I'm serving that demographic. And with that being said, it don't have to be fucking. It don't have to be even sucking. It could be, you know, whatever it can be. Mm -hmm. That's what. As long as it could be an interview, I do mm -hmm. show. I got a show, Barry Loves Booze show, interview show. We do. We mm -hmm. do. Zoom, we do Zoom shows and parties. How, that's how the thing started out in the pandemic. Zoom shows. Nice. Guys will pay to get on and. Five four or five girls on, mm -hmm. showing this boob content, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, it could be whatever, man. Like, it could be, and now the boob fest, we're doing events. And so, yo, when, when I'm dealing with the girls, man, the relationship, the back with, to your original point was, I, it's, the relationship is everything, bro. Right, I think it sounds to me like you kind of just are creating an environment and a community where people can say, yo, this is what I like, and I wanna be social with it, I wanna have fun, yeah. And I want to be around and, and communicate with people that also share this passion. Yeah, it's and out it, there. Right, and it's a place where the women can also feel like it's not just, all right, cut, all right, get out of here. It's like, no, 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 we, we, we still love you. We still love you. We, we're cool. Yeah. We love your boobies. We love you too. Thank you for sharing that Yo, with us. Yo, here's what it is. You go on my Instagram <laughs> Thank page. Thank you for sharing your movies with us. It says on the Instagram, look, watch this. On the IG page, let me make sure I ain't lying. Mm -hmm. I'm flying if I'm lying, right? Hold up, what does it say? We'll go to right now. All right, we'll go to it right now. Oh, man, she got some What's nice, it? She got some nice Celebrating. Titties. Celebrating oh. Busty. Yeah, celebrating Busty <laughs> Barry's Boobs Fest. So celebrating, but, no, but but that's it. Celebra we're Celebra celebrating. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. Celebrating it. Yo, right, so right, right. so as I started doing this, remember I got nine. I got a lot of sisters, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, my mom had me at a young age, right? So I was gonna ask you next, like, how does the women in your family feel about it? Yeah, I'm open. Because you can't you can't keep mom. it a secret forever. Right. 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 My mom knows. My sisters know. Supportive. Wow, supportive dog. Okay, okay. Because I ain't like you said. Yeah. I'm not. It's not your typical <laughs> stuff. No, but I mean, did they find out on their own, or did you I just told them? Oh, you just told off them? rip. Yeah. Well, then you're a better man than me. Because I'm trying to be no. Yeah. I'm, when I, I was the, like, I started dancing, and I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my sister. I was trying to like hide it. And I'm over here thinking that they would be. I don't know what I was thinking, but yo, they ended up finding out. My mom found out through one of her coworkers. One of her coworkers had my calendar, my poster, and <laughs> shit, and. <laughs> My mom was like, yo, Damn. my mom was like, hold on, time out. What the, like, what you got in the cubicle? And she's like, yeah, this sexy stripper. Yo, that's wild. My, my mom was like, yo, that's my son. And oh she's like, God. oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I take it down. My mom was like, no. My mom was like, you know, you know whatever. Yo, that is my mom was proud. My mom was proud. And I didn't expect that. She was proud. Wow. She was like, the girls yeah. in my in my office is in love with you. And I was just like, yo, man. oh, shit. I was like, okay, I've been, been hiding this forever for nothing. Yeah. Man. It was a waste of time to hide this from him. So, yeah, anyway, go ahead. Going back to you being, it's the authentic thing, right? Now, look, authentic alphas, I you think You know, but, right. but here's the thing, though. You can't replace your family. Right. So, you know, you got to be careful because it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? I don't want to lose yeah, relationship with my family. You shouldn't lose your family because, you, because of an employment decision. You shouldn't, but I'm just saying. Right, right. At the time, I wasn't willing to run that risk. risk right, I feel you. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? So thank God they accepted. You know your family better than anybody. Right. Exactly. I, mean, I knew my mom was going to, I knew my mom was going to accept. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. we got that relationship. She always kept it a bulk with me. She had mm -hmm. me when she was 17. You know what I'm saying? I knew that my mom was going to be... Even now, she's kind of gone. You know, my mom's like, you know, it is, religion, it is. religion stuff a little bit, right? Little so, bit. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, yeah, she's a Muslim, you know what I mean? So it's like, I expected to hear some kind of like something, which I did, you know, but it wasn't like I thought, it wasn't as nearly as bad as I thought. You thought it was going to be, yeah, right? Yeah, man, really almost almost nothing. So, uh -huh. so yeah, she's like, you know, look, my she sees the passion for it. I'm trying to make it uh -huh. a business at this point. And the thing about it, the business is you, you 
Well, I seen the receipts, man. You are making it a business. <laughs> I'm like, shit, I got to step yeah. it up. I'm like, how many zeros that got? I'm like, good Lord, shit. We shot from Owen and put on, man. I mean, we're still in the beginning phases. and But the thing about it, too, so oh. I started doing this, man, back to relationship with the women and things I've learned. Because, as you know, what I like is not for everybody, right? And it, it's a market. But it is a market. Right, it's a market. It's like, a market. I can't help. If I feel like this, I know somebody else is. Mm. And then there's a whole forums about it. So I know it's a, how big is the market. Well, globally, shit, we don't know. It's big. We don't know, and we want to find but out. Let's tap, let's tap into the market, though. But doing that, um, I've, I've also find myself a lot, a lot of times, bro, mm. it says a man sticking up for the women. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, because, you know, there's a lot of guys coming in. And, you know, I, I, Grant, I do what I do, but yeah, I don't like the overly sexualized comments. Right. I don't like guys being like, "Yo, hey, did you yeah. come all over?" I'm, I'm sorry, can I, did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah how yeah. was it? You know, doing yeah, that to those? Yeah, yeah, or did, did you? Yeah, did you yeah, do take that? It easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, uh, this is creepy. I don't yeah, like. Yeah, they're, pe- like, they're people too. So. Yeah. I was like, it was, it was uh, just the same as any other situation. I'm like, I, I get a lot of weird comments too. Right. And guys trying to be cool, and I get it, bro. Like, you know, it's cool. Be some guys do know how to be cool, and, and tell, hey, man, that was a great scene you did with that one, or that was an awesome scene. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they right. get it. And the, those are the guys right. I really, really rock with. I, you right. know, the weirdo stuff. We know it's going to come with the territory. You know, some guys are going to get weird. Yeah, and because you know what it is? Those are people that are hiding behind um, the computer screen. Yeah. Because they would never say that to your, to your face. Right. So it's, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's tough. And um, so my whole thing is be better mm-hmm. and do better. Mm-hmm. So, for example, you see, like, how I have my views or my opinions or, or whatever on the adult industry okay but what are you doing about it right. you see what i'm saying like you you doing something about it right because you're giving these women an opportunity um to generate income doing what either they like love or are comfortable with i don't know to what degree they're doing it right but the point is you're making it as comfortable of um a process as possible right yeah, definitely and, and being and being fair you're being you're, you're being Super fair, fair yeah. right and you're also serving um, an audience that already exists. You didn't make the demand for it. Yeah. You're trying to service the demand for it and do it in the in the most upstanding way that you can. Yeah. Right. Now, on, on my end, right, I understand that there's a huge market. Right. For the type of content that I make. Right. Just like you, I'm trying to figure out how, how big it is. Right. I'm trying to help these guys. Trying to help these men. That's a massive market. Right. Like my mother. My mother hates red pill content. Right. She doesn't want to hear it. Right. She doesn't. She understands that this is where I am with it. But her whole thing is like, just don't play that shit around me. Right. Which is fine. I get it. You, right. you, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear her play her soaps or whatever it is that she likes to listen to or whatever either. Right. Okay? Right. I'm grown now. So now I, I can change the channel. When I was a kid, I had to watch what my mom watched. And I was like, really? You know, right. you know, more more of more of these soaps? Right. You get what I'm saying? My sister, she doesn't like the type of content either. <laughs> my girl, my girl straight hates it. Yeah. Right? So I have to kind of like time it. Like, all right, let me, I'm going to get this work done. Don't bother me. For this two or three hours, right. I got to, no, for real. I got to tell my mother, my sister, and my girl the same shit. Right. Like for this time frame, I'm doing my content. Right. I know you don't like this shit, right. so leave me alone. Right. But 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 when I when I when it's like it's that time, then I have to. Right. right, I have right. to be on their time now. Right, right? you know yeah. what I'm saying? I have to give them their. their, their That's their, good. You can discipline. That's right, good. I have to give them their quality time, right? Because they they're important to me too. Right. Now, as far as the women and how they're being dealt with, I look at it and I say, okay, well, how can I help? So I'm not gonna help like how you help, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna help how you how you help, <laughs> right? Right. right? right. Um, but I'm already in in the process and in the works of putting together a show, where what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be bringing on professionals to give these women uh, counseling. Well, the guys are like, what? The? No, not that type of counseling. Not, 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 I'm not talking about therapy, okay? But um, you know how to how to go ahead and, and open up LLCs, um, how to go about their taxes, how to go about making sound investments. I love it. How to manage their money. Yes. Uh, because I look at it and I say, there's been times that I've done things that are wrong or questionable or whatever in my career. There's times when I was a little criminal. I was out there doing what I do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and my regret is not that I did the things that I did. My regret is what do you have to show for it? Right. How did you manage that money? How did you invest that money? Exactly. Right. How many businesses do, 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 do you think might have been started with some questionable money? A lot of them. Okay. The thing is, they did what they had to do. They cleaned that up. 
Let me tell you. You see what I'm saying? Man. So I want to help these women. Yeah, that's it. That's manage it. their money properly so that when they're, you know, five years right. out of the business, yeah, they're good. doing better than they were when they were in the business. Different and not broke. I can mention Not that. on heroin. Not alcoholics. Exactly. Uh, not being, you know, in abusive relationships. Yeah. I don't want them to just be washed up. Yeah. I want them to be able to say, oh yeah, when I was 25, I was doing adult content, but now that I'm 30, I own three properties. I have this business Boss, over here. I'm doing, up, okay, right. right. Yeah. So I feel like as men. Yeah. As leaders, that should be kind of like the mindset that we have. That's so funny you say, right? bro. This is and crazy. we can make money. We can make money with them. Dude, like that's my whole attitude. Dude, yes, right. Yeah, if, if I know a chick, right, yeah. and she's an escort, yeah, right. And she doesn't enjoy doing it. The light bulb in my head goes off. Well, how can we make money together without you having to go to that extent? So right. I've taken a lot of women out of the game, or I've altered the game. Like, Somebody looking at you mad as hell right now. Right, like, right. Because Jay, Jay might be like, <laughs> no, well, but, but no, but hold on, but, but 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 hold on. But that's my dude though. He do what he do, I do what I do. I you, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, if she's uncomfortable with this aspect of it, yeah. But if she's with a dude that's maybe exploiting her, taking advantage of her, exactly. Now we got a problem, right? right? But. For example, you brought up Jay. Jay could very well have women that they bout it. And I know he does because if he ain't with them, they're going to be with someone else right. doing what they're doing. Right. So it's better that he is managing them, but he's at least doing it in a way that... Right. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's being a little bit a more... A little bit more, yeah. yeah. Right. He's being a better... A better, uh, a little bit, a little morally better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit better than. than Listen, we're not perfect. We yeah, do, we yeah. do, we do what we can. And, Good lord. Better is better, and better is better. Right, right. we do better, what we can. Better is better. Right. right. Yeah. So I, I want you to give me some um, examples of how, just like you, because you, you, you made the um, the distinction between you're gonna have the guys that are very appreciative of your work and what you're doing, because right. there is an art to it. There's right. some, there's some type of art to that. Yeah. Right. There most definitely is. Yeah. Um, then you're gonna have the guys that are just straight up weirdos, and it's like, bro, you need, you need help. <laughs> right. You need Jesus. So, can you give me um, some examples of how you feel that they are some healthy examples of guys that, like, listen, they go to work, they do what they gotta do. They might, they might even be in relationships. They might have wives. Who knows? But they have their little thing. Like, obviously, yeah. I don't think you thought something was wrong with your grandpa, but he had his little stash that oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure your yeah. grandma didn't know about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she found out. She threw him away too. She <laughs> found out. She threw him shit away. <laughs> I'm getting rid of these ass. <laughs> yeah, well, I threw them shits away, boy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so the question is, uh, how does somebody um, healthy, mm. how does somebody consume porn, right, or cons consume adult content mm -hmm. in a healthy manner? Is that, is that the question? responsible way, yeah. Yeah. Because that's what, that's what, that's what uh, you know, the man wants to know. Right. Well, you know, I'm, I'm so glad. It, I love this show, man, because... Now the same theme is is is, is raining. You know, is mm -hmm. you have to be authentic with yourself. You have to be. So, but I think there should be some parameters, though. There will be on your uh, yeah, vices. But, but, but you I'm know saying, what I mean? Your addiction. Step one is, but that's step one, though. Mm -hmm. You got to know yourself. Right. And what I, and I mean, I mean, you really got to know yourself because I, here's what I know about myself: addiction runs in my family. Mm -hmm. I've been addicted to personality. Mm. I've been addicted to porn. I've been addicted to a whole lot of shit. <laughs> I feel you. Um, it's so funny now that I'm, I'm kind of in the porn industry. I'm not really. Well, I still do. Mm -hmm. But I'm not as bad as it's I not was. As bad as you I've speak. gone through moments where yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm watching a lot of fucking porn. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm consuming a lot of shit for different reasons, bro. Yeah, that I, was educational. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was research. That was like, that was like, that was, Did you see that camera that angle? Working there. Let me work. Yeah, let me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that girl? Let me put her. All right. Nah, man. But um, yo, it's like you know, it's different reasons now, mm. and you know. But you got to know yourself. Like, I know that, you know, if I can do it too much, too much of anything is not good for you. You got to understand exactly. that. Yeah, yeah, too not. much of anything is not good for you, period. You know, mm -hmm. now, can it help? You know, some people have different, again, parameters. Like, there's there's couples that use it. You know what I'm saying? I've, done it. Mm -hmm. I've tried that before, man. Not mm -hmm. really my thing, man. I don't yeah. want anyone to want. I'm cool with it, but it's not my... Yeah, if the okay. girl wants to put I've done it before I've been smashing I've been You know what I mean mm -hmm. The girl got porn on and shit It's kind of weird I get distracted Yeah You know I, what I mean yeah. I can't really do it You know what I'm saying I like, can't do it either I've done it a long time But I remember like Back in that DC shit That's some DC shit Man girl I go over girl crib I'm smashing this stripper And she had like All types of porn on And my man over that pal that orgy going on on, on, on on the TV <laughs> She had several screens I can't focus like, I can't. Like a security room Yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, this shit is wild. I can't focus, man. Oh, so, God. but the healthy doing, man. You know, is 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 the one to know yourself, and the two, like, all right, man, you gotta set. You have to set some literally, boundaries. You have to literally say, yo, yeah. this is. If I do the shit, it could be love. If I watch porn every day, or if I do it three days in a row, that's too much. It's too much. Yeah, I said maybe you do it's once same a thing week. With video man. games, right? It's the same thing with going out on dates with girls, right? It's the same thing, bro. Yeah, the same thing. I mean, if I could add something there. It's funny because it's similar to like what you were saying. You were addicted to it, and then you got into the business and it changed everything. Right, yeah. Bro, let me tell you something. I was addicted to um, hooking up with fine ass chicks within forty eight hours of meeting them. Like that was my thing. It wasn't so much I was addicted to like to no, sex no, in dude, general. No, I was addicted to sex with strangers. No. I me, and I'm yo, just being me, honest. I'm being yo, honest. Yo, I'm, I've I'm, had that same I'm thing. I'm being transparent here. I was addicted to hooking up with wow. really fine ass girls. Right. After just meeting them. I so thought it was, I, that, those, those are the two. What they call those, it? Is there a word for that? I don't know, but those are the two things that were a necessity to turn me on. She had to be fine as hell. And new. And it had to be new. Yeah, if it took if it took more than two days to get in the panties, I yeah. lost interest. And that's why you're in Miami, my And friend. if the girl was in an eight or above, <laughs> I wasn't interested to begin with. And this started off as being healthy, in my opinion, because I wasn't able to close the deal that that frequently in the beginning. Uh, but I learned how to get better and better and better at it. And then once I started working in the nightclub business, then it changed. Then it was I became the hot piece of meat. I became, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That the girls wanted right. to smash within just me and me. And then it was like, hold on, it took it took all the power and accomplishment out of it. Right. Because now it's like, ooh, girl, look at this stripper, he's so fine. Ooh, I want to see if I could get him. So now if you hook up with that chick, you didn't accomplish shit. She's the one that ac that accomplished it, right? right? So right. I tried to so I tried to flip it and say, "Oh no, we're going to get this back on track." So what I did was I started saying, "Okay, it can't be chicks that come to my job." So now I'm going to other clubs still back on my shit, right? right. But what I realized is it was the same effect. It still was super easy. No, what you are is you're, not, you're that's called that's called Ooh. being an alpha. And that's mm, called hunting. Hunting. And yeah. You like the, I love the. I just I wanted the mantle, right? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted that deer head on yeah. my wall. Big it's basically, game hunter. Big game that's hunter. What, that's what happened. And it became too. The chase. The chase. Bro, it became too easy. Yeah. And then, 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 then my goals changed. Then it started to be okay, uh, locking down a quality, attractive woman. And being able to or deal with that worth one, right? And trying to deal with the trials and tribulations yeah. of a relationship or keeping up with a girl, then uh, that became the challenge to me. Then I ended up getting married. Right. Uh, so it's all in what you challenge yourself on. Because some dudes are serial daters. Some dudes are addicted to being in a relationship and codependent on a woman. I've seen that. That's not healthy either. I've seen that. That's not healthy either. No, it's weird. Right. So you have to kind of like figure out. I, like you were saying, too much of anything ain't good for you. I'm any you like any up, addiction man. ain't good I'm, for you. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up, man. It's Ooh. something that I've, I've never really discussed, but I, I've noticed as well by myself, Ooh. man. That I, the same thing, bro. The same thing, the thrill of the hunt. And, Ooh, and I talked about up. it, but like, it is an addiction, man. It's addiction. You know, it, the whole process of uh, taking a shower, to put it on your cologne, to going out, Ooh. knowing. Because the, 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 you know what it is? Because you're setting it in your mind. Yeah. You and, you're, and you're challenging yourself. Yeah. You're like, can I? Can I? Oh, they is, going, they you, don't know, you don't know what's yeah, in store for the night. Right. You don't know. That, Get that bone out. Get my bone out. That's, the, it, that's the rush. It. I see it. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? That's and the it, rush. Bro, and, it's a, and you know what's crazy? You need those days. Where you fall flat on your face. You right. need those days when you don't bring nothing back to the cave. Right. Right? You need those days when your boy gets something and you're like, all right, nigga, I'll see you. Uh, all right, all right, man, go do what you do. And nigga, like, hey, yo, man, I'm out. I got one. He got one. He's like, I got one under the arm. Yeah, I'm out of here, bro. I'll see you later. It's like, all right, good luck. It's like, all right, nigga, peace. And then you go home alone. Without, without those, there's no value in the nights when you go home with one or even two. Even a threesome thing is like a challenge. That's a balance, man. Right? It's, Until it's, you bro. the gang, the joy, joy and pain. Once the threesome thing becomes easy, right. it loses value, bro. And I realized that right. mid mid pump. Mid right. pump, I realized that, bro. It's like by the time I had the, by the third time that I had two girls at the same time, I'm mid pump and I'm like. This just, Already mid pump. That's bad. This is this is stone. It ain't doing nothing you for me. Right. You didn't want to eat the meal. Yeah, one bite. You like you're like, like right. yo. This isn't doing anything for me. This yeah, is whack. Right. So it was never 
the act of having two girls at the same time that was satisfying. It was the thrill of the chase. Right, it was the challenge yeah, was of challenge. can I get two girls to hook up with me at the same time? Because right. it sounds so impossible to a motherfucker that ain't never done it. Right. So a lot of you guys thinks that something <laughs> is like the thing to do simply because you never did it. Yeah, and, 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 or you give it that in your head. You give it that much power. Power, right? That's that, oh, that much value that in your head. Value. You're, yeah, you're you like, wow, it. that's an accomplishment. It's right. like it's really not, bro. Yeah, first thing you get two of them, then you get three of them. It's then really, what? I mean, it's a bit, didn't it's see really some people get addicted to that. The the, the, the group shit, and that's bro, how you got swingers and bro. all that. You know what I mean? Like smashing strippers. Yeah, I, was a was a thing for me at one point, yeah, right? Because yeah. in my head it was like, yo, these chicks charge for yeah. time and attention. Yeah, 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 so yeah, if yeah. I can if I can get them, oh, you know what's dope too? That's you know a dope? badge of honor. You know what's dope too? When you go to another country mm. and you get the freebie. Well, I always get the freebie in another country. I know what I'm saying, but I'm saying that's the, that's the thing too. Guys are going, yeah. you know, from, from 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 the girl, you know, she's gonna charge. This but guy. I never stop valuing that though. Going to other countries, I never stop valuing that. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. That I never stop valuing, yeah. bro. Because this is something about the yeah. different accents, yeah. the different culture, the different, yeah, different experiences. It's still new. It's, it's it, fun and exciting. It's how much it is. Still right. New. So this is an adventure yeah. every fucking time. And it's like you could be doing practical shit like going to the museum with a girl in another country. Right, right. And it's like, all right, let's go look at these fake ass dinosaurs. Yeah. But right. when we get back to the hotel. Is it me when you travel to other countries? <laughs> is it me? Oh, I feel like when you, when you go to these other countries, man, it could be, maybe I'm just a freak, man, but. I just feel like they're all freakier, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Everything's sec- like the, the smallest stuff is sec- I'm like, how sexual? Nah, I tell, how, how no, I tell you what countries? it is. I tell you what it is. It's not the foreign chicks. It's the fact that you are foreign dick. Right. That's what it is. It's because they're like, oh my god, this is an opportunity it's not that always act. Or yeah, no, 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 no. They're just acting like that with you because yeah. you're a foreigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it gets them going in a whole different way, bro. Because yeah, sure. you know, for women, the foreplay starts before you even link up. From for you sure. text them, right. the foreplay starts. So right. when they like, oh, I got this guy from out of the country. Right. He's different. He's. Right. They have all this anticipation in their head because, especially if they don't, they don't deal with you know guys with melanin often. Plus, we're American. Right. That's always going to be. Valid. A lot of guys think that when you go overseas, it's that, oh, I'm black. No, nah, bro. A lot of times it's that you're American. Yeah, right. So it's a combination. You black and you American. Because right. please believe, if if you on your, uh, uh, what's that guy's name that plays Captain America? Chris, uh, yeah, I, can't think. I don't know his name. Man, right. But if you any of them motherfuckers and you go somewhere else, trust me, the women going to be drooling just the same. Yeah. He a white boy, right. but he's American, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you think about it, American women do the same thing. Right. When a dude's from France. Right. Or a dude from Italy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's a whole nother yeah. ball game. They, they, they'll they treat an African black dude differently than they will an American black dude. True. So, I mean, we like, and think about it, we feel the same way about cars because yeah. you look Lawrence. at the, Look, look at the far, how we feel about foreign Exotics. cars, right? Weed, same thing. You know what's crazy? <laughs> listen, listen, exactly. listen. Weed. Look at how we treat Italian cars over here. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been to Italy. Yeah. In Italy, the Mustang is the shit. Wow. And here, a Mustang ain't shit. Right. But in Italy, a Mustang is the shit. Wow. Here, a Chrysler 300 ain't shit. Right. In Italy, a Chrysler 300 is the shit. Wow. But here we into Lamborghinis yeah. and Ferraris. Opposites and, attract. You like things that you don't have. This is different. Right. Rare, rarity. Rarity. Yeah, yeah, you want rare. something? You want something that's rare. Exactly. Right. Yeah. We like our food to be. You know what I'm saying? Something exotic and different. Yeah. So hey, all I'm saying is, as you for you young guys out there, get your money together, get your planning straight, get your aspirations right because you want to have these experiences, bro. Life is life. We all get what twenty four hours in the damn day, seven days in the week. In it, that's it. Okay. The thing is, what you doing with it? Though? Sixty eight hours. Right. What experiences are you having with it? And unlike women, as men, we have to f- create and facilitate our own experiences. Women can just focus on doing makeup really well, you know, keeping their waist small and their titties perked up, right. and eventually they're gonna come across a dude right. that's like, I'm gonna take you here. I'm gonna show you this. I'm yeah. gonna buy you that. So they'll get their experiences by. Basically auctioning themselves off. Right. As dudes, we don't have that luxury, right? You gotta be. Uh, it goes back to purpose and intent. You gotta be intentional. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be. T- and one thing, yo, I was in New Orleans last week, right? Mm. Uh, for Mardi Gras and shit. Mm. Um, you know, it was crazy. I had a great time, man. And you know, but one of the themes I picked up from the night, yeah, you know, me and my homeboy was hanging out and was uh was lo- love yourself, yeah. You know? I, 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 crazy in New Orleans, I you know Mardi Gras, I would, mm. but it really hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, love yourself, yo. 
And I think your audience probably needs to hear that. And, and what's coming to my mind is, when you love yourself, certain things you won't allow to happen in your life. Mm. Or you won't allow people to treat you a certain way. It's, it's, I mean, really, and if you're not, as people don't really think about it. But love myself, love myself. Some people probably don't ever think about it. But if you really think about it, love yourself, dog. When you love yourself, yo, I mean, like, fall, if you're not, if you don't love yourself, fall in love with yourself. Okay, you gotta do a photo shoot. Okay, if you got mm -hmm. whatever you do to love it, fall in love with yourself, right. and then plan your life. When you fall in love, with it, then replan your life and think Around about that. intention. What do you intentionally want to do? Yeah, cause we, were, we, we, we were talking about that a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's like, cause you know, I'm always observing, bro. That's me. Like I'm yeah, always yeah. observing. People think I talk a lot. Listen, I listen twice as much as I talk. Trust right, me. Right. And I'll see guys. They will work hard, bust their ass, you know, be accountable, be responsible, be reliable, yeah. all these fucking things, right? They'll build up their credit, pay all their bills on time, right. they'll be good to their family, good to their friends, right. and then I'll sit back and watch a dude treat a chick better than he treats himself. Like, he won't make time to take himself to a nice restaurant so he can just enjoy his favorite, right? but he'll make time to take some chick to her favorite restaurant. Exactly. It's like, hold up. What's up with that? Right, he won't take some time to go shopping and have a suit, you know, have himself measured right. to have a suit custom made for him. Just for you. Right, just for him. Right, not for anybody else, right. not for work, not for nothing. Just, yeah. just to celebrate yourself, right. right? But he'll wait around in the mall for three hours while financing some chick shopping spree so she can get all the things. Oh, I love these heels. Oh, I've been wanting this and I've been wanting, yeah, baby, go ahead, get what you want. It's like, bro, you gotta, you got the, you, uh, that's, you have yo, to. There's a song about it. Dave, Devin the dude, Jay Z talked about it. It's the power of the P U S S Y. That's why brothers get haircuts. But I have a problem with that. Fly. But I have no, a problem but, with no, that. But, but, no, but, don't, but, but, but do it for yourself first. Though, is what I'm saying. Take care of you right. first before but, you start spoiling somebody else. Right. Is all I'm saying. Right. Cherish you. Celebrate you first. Right. Before you start doing that for somebody else. Of course. Same that's, thing. Yeah. That's all I'm saying, bro. Right. We, we, you know, as men, we have to that's remember to, like he said, we gotta remember to love yourself. Me, I would have phrased it like, value yourself. Because when you respect yourself, you're not going to let somebody else disrespect you. That's it. When you treat yourself well, you're not going to accept anything less from somebody else. Exactly. Real shit. Like, I remember the first time a chick was trying to buy me a car. The reason why, I could be like, yeah, I want this BMW X6. Oh, they don't got no black ones? Oh, no, it has to be black. Oh, they got a black one in Jacksonville? Okay, ship that black one from Jacksonville. Well, that's going to take either nine hours to go. I don't give a fuck. Right. I want it in black. Right. The reason why I could do that and talk like that is because I already had a, a car. I had a brand new Chrysler 300. Yeah. So in order for her to, to bless me with a car, it got to be better than the car I got myself. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. and, and that's the way I've always handled women. Right. I've never had women do things for me out of a lack of. Right. right. Okay? Out of a lack of. It's right. not going right. to happen. You, you can't put food in my fridge because my fridge is empty. Right, right. What you can do is you can restock my fridge with the type of shit that I already got in my fridge. Right. If that's what you want to do, right. go ahead. Right. Go knock yourself out because you have time for that. I don't have time for that. Right. right? So, yeah. yeah, but if you're, if you're, um, you know, in void of something, you're in need of something, then for someone to do for you or help you or whatever, now it's out of charity. Now it's out of pity. Right. I don't want that. You get know what I'm saying? You're going to have to do better for me above and beyond is what I'm trying to say. Facts. So all I'm saying to you guys is set the standard for yourself. Set that standard for yourself because either you deserve more or you don't. If it's not there, and if you, some people have no standards, right? Right. And you know what? Standards vary, right? Like mm. people talk about sevens and sixes, talking to girls and this and that. You know, and... Don't let somebody else's standard define right, your standard. Right, yeah, of course not, yeah. Just because yeah. this person only talks to eight, what, what's an eight to him is may not be an eight to you. Hey, or whatever. exactly. Or you might exactly. be into some other shit. Like, like, I could, I, see, that's that's me, bro. Yeah, because you a super big titty, bro. I already told y'all, C-Cup is my thing. Yeah, I'm good you, with you're the not C-Cup. Like, it's good not with for everybody. Yeah. And not only that, it's like, mm. people going to say stuff, I mean, Sometimes they talk about the titty. That's why I said body body positivity mm -hmm. has really become a thing that it's 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 on my uh, it's on my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with girls. I understand it. it's a huge movement. It means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, be, let's be positive. Some guys, some good friends of mine, are like, ill. You know, 
I understand. She's yeah. ill. Yeah. Oh, look, disgusted, disgusted by it. You know what I mean? I, you do. I get it. I get it. But, oh, bro, but I hope you don't act like that around a girl. Yeah, it, yeah, that's not. That's not really man. No, me too. But I ain't gonna act like that. Yeah, no, you'll be like, oh God, this is disgusting. I ain't want to interview them two girls. He want to interview them. I was like, all right, I'll play along, but yeah. yeah, I'm not attracted. And you see, I was trying to hold focus, but I kept seeing other things that I liked a lot more. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh shit, look at this one. Yeah. And, yeah. That's, and, it's it and I realized it that some things, in, you know, it, again, there's body guys, the guys like bodies, mm -hmm. over face, and like, so I know there's a lot, but I have a universal eye at the same time. Right. Dude, I know. I know what the, the the universal dime is. You know what I mean? I know what the universal nine, eight is. That's you know true. what I'm saying? The universal. Then I know in my eyes what I think is special. And that's what I think. And along and, and again, that's that's part of you having your standards. Mm -hmm. And so, dude, living in Miami is is interesting, man, because I everybody has this cookie. I, again, I know what the universal thing is. And but everybody has this cookie cutter, yo, this is what the nine, this is a ten, this is mm -hmm. it. And I get it, I know what it is. But I also encourage people to, yo, know, like what you like, bro. Well, see, here's the thing. By you coming at a chick like that and saying, listen, this is what I like. Right. This is special to me. Right. Now you're special to her. Yeah. Because that's how women operate. Right. So they're like, oh, my God, somebody that appreciates this, somebody that's, like, now you make her feel like a 10. Yeah. Do you? And that's important. So now you're super valuable in to her Miami, because. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The average dude is not making her feel like and a 10. And I do 10. it in public. Like in Miami, mm. as you know. The, the, the alpha the, the, is, You know Sometimes it's not even Alpha energy Sometimes it's beta bro mm -hmm. These guys will Talk about I never I've seen this happen When guys are literally Concerned about My, my dick <laughs> What I like and you know, I, I, you know what I mean. I'm like, like, why do you care? Yeah, 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 dude. The only time I, I'm gonna ask you what you like is when we trying to figure out where we gonna yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yo, nigga, we wanna eat. I'm hungry as fuck. That way we gotta compromise. We right. gotta go to the same restaurant. Right. But other than that, bro, it takes some conviction for me. I, think about it. I give myself a It takes some conviction for me to be in. And mm. think about it. You name a nightclub in Miami. Mm. Live. I don't know. Eleven. Mm. Whatever. Mm. I see what I like. Guess yeah. what? Boom. I'm there. Yeah. I don't care if you like it. He like it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys. I go by my damn self. Right. A lot of guys are gonna be like, uh, you know, man, they make their homeboys at the table, mm -hmm. and like, you know what, man, they might see something that they like, but the other energies might not. They like no, suppress their like. I'm not gonna go talk to that because I know she's not a seven. Oh, because what these niggas are gonna say? Yeah, yo, yo. I mean, I get it. that all the time. Think because, about it. Listen, all my closest boys. They be like, yo, I can't fuck with the manly looking bitches you be fucking with. I'm thinking to myself, whoa, nigga, when you ever see me with a manly chick? But to them, chicks that are like fit and got six packs and be in the gym, to yeah. them, that's like gross or whatever. It's like, listen, yeah, I, I know where to find the chicks I'm attracted to, bruh. Yeah. They gonna be at the gym. <laughs> like, I already know. Right. And they gonna be at the gym where the girls with the most Instagram following and whatnot be like the, the popular in gym. Yeah. They're not gonna necessarily be at the typical ass LA Fitness or, right. they're not, the girls I like damn sure ain't gonna be at no Planet Fitness what's or no you fit. Listen, bro, if I meet a, if I meet a good looking girl you fit or Planet Fitness, bro. bro I am legacy. Bad. Me a legacy. I'm, bro, I'm roasting her right there on the spot. <laughs> like, why are you here? She's so like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you too fine to be here. This shit is whack. Uh, How many followers you got? Let me see your Instagram. <laughs> nah, nigga, let's go. We go to the front desk. We go to cancel this shit right that's now. That's fitting into it though. Yo, let that yeah. girl, let, let that girl work out. If she want to be at the little Hell whatever gym, nah. she in the gym. Hell no. Why? Why are you here? I'm like, yo, listen, ma, what's the problem? What are you? Uh, are you here because you don't want people bothering you when you work? Out, you don't want to be hit on. Maybe explain this shit to me. Jim ain't a damn nightclub. Cause this motherfucking gym is trash. If you see me in Planet Fitness or UFIT, it's because I don't have no other options in the vicinity. Like yeah. when I go visit my mom's, yeah. I end up having to go to fucking UFIT. Yeah, you want to give me Equinox? Yeah, cause the, near, the nearest gym to her is far as hell. Yeah. You know, other than that, so it's like, all right, I'll take my ass right there and I'll just deal with the dumbbell stopping at sixty pounds. What the fuck I'm gonna do with sixty and, pound and, dumbbells? And then no grunting. Yeah, I can't make noises, I can't slam weights, I can't bring a gallon of water, I can't wear a tank top. It's like, God damn, bro. What can I do in here? What the fuck can I do in here? Can I work out? Nah, don't get me wrong, I understand their business model. Right. I, I get what they're doing. They say, uh, listen, we gonna create a gym everybody. for underachievers who don't want to feel Threatened. insecure or right. threatened by people who are getting results right. and these are the type of motherfuckers that are barely going to come to the gym right. but if we keep the membership so low they're never going to cancel it they're going to be like oh maybe I'll go next week uh, maybe I'll go next month yeah. and when
when they do go, they don't feel like, oh, this isn't the place for me. I'm going to cancel. Right, right. I don't belong here. Right. So that's what they're doing. They're taking advantage of the majority. Right. The majority of people are not going to be dedicated to fitness or whatever. So that's where the money is at. You have money in either the high quality or you have money in the high quantity. Right. So they're servicing the high quantity. Right, right. Well, guess what? The bitches I like ain't going to be there. Yeah. They're not going to be there. They're going to be at the expensive gym. They're going to be at the gym that's super commercial, super materialistic or whatever, whatever. Hey, judge me or whatever you want. Those are the type of girls I like. Yeah. Fine ass face, banging ass body, and they into fitness, and they're competitive about it. There you go. That's what I like. Yeah. Do I like the way bikini girls step on stage? Hell no. You know what I mean? Do I like the way wellness chicks look on stage? Hell no. As a competitor, as an athlete, I love it. Right. But then I'm compartmentalizing, and now it's all about the sport and the competitiveness of it. Right. But how those chicks look off season? Good lord, yeah. good lord. Yeah. When the when the fat and the water is on the booty, yes. Yeah. I lo- I, See, I like it. Yep. That's, that's different from my cup of tea. That's what I'm trying to say. I respect it. But shit. we can still get along. But I respect though. it though. See what I'm saying? I respect. I, I, you know, mm. I respect it. Even if I may not. You know, basic rule. Right. Like, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And I ain't gonna, you know, no matter what I feel, I might feel like I ain't gonna say nothing mean. I must be like, you know, I respect it. Yeah, but I saying? respect it though because if I see a chick and she got the super big the titties or whatever, she doing what she doing. Right. She's proud and right. confident. Hey, do do you do sis? Because it's like, yo, she proud of it. That's what I. That's she the, happy with herself, dude. That's that's the deep shit here, man. That's what I'm talking about. The body, look. <laughs> this is the thing, right? It's like I'm I'm in this shit now, right? Where you got forms, you got like this overall is a general thought where mm-hmm. about reductions, right? And, and and dudes really, I mean, I, I know I get it. Guys, really, it's hard to they, they take it personal, bro. Like guys, that we're, we're, we're I mean, it's really I mean, some guys can be complete dicks about it, bro. Like they'll get, a girl will get a reduction, they be like, yo, I don't know why you got nothing. See, that's harsh too. Ugh. Yeah, that's hard too. See, now there's different reasons why girls may get reductions, health reasons, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I may not be in agreement with a reduction, but I may understand it depending on what she has a reason. Now, back to what we're saying, when it comes to society and social norms mm. or uh, status quo, and that's the reason why, then I feel like. That's a problem for me. Now it's, now it's a need for someone like you to come in and make them feel good about it. Like, no, baby. Yo, we, we've literally... Yo. God don't make no mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, per- you're perfect the way you are, girl. Can I give you a real testimony? Can I give you a real testimony? Can I give you a real testimony? I, I swear to God, I, was, I, I would almost show it to you right now. Before before the Braves Boot Fest, first one, we mm-hmm. had a girl. I was brand new. I just, I just met this girl, connected with her. She had like a double H or something like that. Um, double H I never even heard of that shit Right I know one of the triple Good I know all Lord, the sides right? Double H And she be Yo nice body Nice You know nice body bro And uh, I mean Granted They're double H They didn't look that big though Like They didn't, I, they didn't look that big They're they're big But they didn't look that big They look nice They look like They look like it'd be G's or something You know You know But anyway um, She was You know I was like Yo you look great She's just, you know New to model And I was like Yo mm-hmm. She wants to come to the event Yo glad you come to the event This would be great You get some content You get some pictures We got a creative team Da 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 And Yo like You know I was like I posted her On, on the feed On my feed On IG And you know what I'm saying And I was like Yo you, you know She got a lot of a lot of followers because of it. That's what happens. Now it's like the point. I post the girls, they're gonna, they're gonna get some, and this is great, man. You know, that's a great benefit. I can post you, you get some, you know, some followers, you get some, right. you know, get some, some clout, tip, some money, you know, all that, whatever. Uh. So I posted her, and the, the the feedback was just really good, man, really positive. She said, Yo, I was thinking about getting a reduction. You've helped me change my mind. Damn. I said, Damn. Now we crack. This shit, that's now you know you're changing lives. That's that's every yo, that's everything, bro. Uh-huh. Cause now it's like you didn't your back wasn't hurting. <laughs> you wasn't toppling over. You wasn't. I mean, granted, some clothes might not have fit. Right. But it was just basically the opinion of others is what is what she was basing that on. So she just needed to know like the validation. Right. She just needs to know like yo, there's you know there's people out here that like this too. Yep. And she found and yep. And now she mm-hmm. found out there's a whole subculture mm. of big bust enthusiasts yeah. out there and we and we like girls that are built like that we like girls that shit like and that and I think bro that goes both ways I mean that that that, that applies to guys also see for, for girls to find their demograph 
What they need is more exposure, right? But for dudes, what you need to do to find your demograph is more accomplishment. That's the difference. Women just need more followers. They need to be seen by more eyes to figure out who's into this, right? right. For guys, what you need to do is you need to become that good at what you do. So if you skateboard, for example, I'm sure majority of people are gonna tell you, listen, grow up, get a real job, right. okay? Right. But if you're Tony Hark, okay, yeah. and you win skateboarding, yeah. you're that good at skateboarding that you become a champion at skateboarding, now you become rich and you get all the groupies that are somehow into grown ass men skateboard. that skateboard. <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because I'm sure, I'm sure Tony Hawk's family was telling him like, yo, Tony, when are you going to grow up? Right. When are you going to stop with the skateboarding shit? You're not a boy anymore, right? right, right. So it's the same thing as if you're like streaming on Twitch, if you like play video games or something. There's plenty of people that are going to be like, yo, this guy is a loser. This guy's just playing video games in his mother's basement, yeah. right? You get three million dollars, right? But once you get a contract, you become <laughs> successful at that. Right. You're gonna get all these random DMs from cute girls. Yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Talking right. about, oh my god, I love how you play Fortnite and blah, 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 blah. Right. so that's what I'm trying to say, guys. You guys have to be good at whatever you do, whatever it is that you love to do. Don't let people discourage you at it. You need to make a decision for yourself. Do I believe in myself? Do I believe that I'm that I'm right. good at this? That I'm that good at this? If you're not that good. You need to you need to make it a hobby and just designate a certain time for it and become good at something else that's useful to society, right? right? Yeah. But if you do believe that you're you're that good and you have that much potential in that thing, don't don't let what people tell you discourage you. In fact, let it motivate you. Like, yeah. oh, you think this is a waste of time? I'm gonna Bet. show you Bet. that this isn't a waste of time. Right. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. My girl right now thinks YouTube is a waste of time. Oh wow. Right? But as I make more money with it. She has to recant that Like uh, Exactly Shut up right. right But in her mind It's like Why would you leave Personal training And what you were doing Right To do this Yeah When you were making So much money Doing what you were doing Right Right So she didn't She didn't get it Right, right. And she's still get, You know She's in the process of, 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 of accepting it Right And coming to terms with Like yo This is what he's gonna it's be funny doing funny when they come around It's always funny when right, they come exactly, around Right Exactly Right Cause uh -huh. you understand <laughs> Personal training, I charge my clients a thousand a month yeah. across the board. Yeah. There's no this and that or whatever, whatever, right? So I made a decision to myself listen, New Year, I'm only accepting clients that make over 150K a year. Period. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're not making a minimum of 150K a year, we can't have this discussion. Right. Every day somebody's asking me, hey man, are you a personal trainer? Hey man, can you afford me? Right. Straight up. I'm not fucking around. Right? right? Cause I'm gonna get my money regardless. Okay, if something came up, or you you, you got sick, or or you you know you change your whatever, right. you you pay for this month. Right. You can go dick off if you want. Right. I'm gonna be there for my clients. Right. Period. Right. right. You call, I'm picking up the phone. Right. You text, I'm responding. Right. Right. So I'm giving you that 24/7 support. Right. Right. For the for the for the low low of just a thousand a month. Period. Right. right. Now, what do you think happens when I have over 10 clients a month? What I think happens? I mean, you know I mean? my girl sees that, and she oh, says yeah, she sees yeah. stability. Right. Oh yeah, true. She yeah. looks at that. She says, "Okay, right. yeah, right." Right. Now, the dancing thing, she hates it. Yeah. Because every once in a while, I still get phone calls like, "Hey, man, can you do this bachelorette party? Hey, man, can you do this birthday party? Hey, man, can you do this event in another state?" Yeah. And she's always. Why nobody hit you with that dancing bear yet? My homeboys got hit with that dancing bear. Out here. You know what that is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so so it's like it's like yeah, you know. So so when those, when those calls come, I just weigh them out. Yeah. I look in, I say, okay, what city do I need to fly to? All right, how many days? How much are they paying me? Right. What's the potential for tips? And I kind of make the decision. I make the decision. Right. right? She can be upset, whatever, whatever. She yeah. already knows. I don't yeah. listen. Be pissy, have an attitude. Yeah. I don't care. For me, that phone call, man. Right. I like to right. get Right. I'm gonna get that damn money. Yeah, I like to get that dancing money too. Right. But with that YouTube shit, it's like it's an argument. It's an argument because for the first year of YouTube, I wasn't even monetized. You're, you're building, man. You're right. Build. You're and I was trying to explain that to her. Right. I was like, what you're looking at is where the most stability is. Right? You're looking at the money and you're looking at the stability. Right? But by doing that, you're, you're objectifying me because you're not thinking about my feelings. You're not thinking about, you know what I'm saying, my, my sanity, my level of rest. Right, right. Because here's the thing. To personal train... I can't scale that up. The only way I can scale that up 
is by charging my clients more. Right. I can only handle but so many clients. Think about it. Right. There's only but so you much time. You can online for it, man, but, yeah, but right. But the, the, but then I start to lose the quality. Then I'm then I'm watering down what I'm offering them. Right, right. And it's still a lot to manage. I still have to be doing everybody's individual diet. Yeah, yeah. I have to be doing exactly. It's a lot on me to make more money. Then it's more work, more time, whatever. Right. right, right. Whereas the YouTube. Once you figure out how to monetize that, internet, yeah. Exactly. Now, internet. right now, you, you can scale up just by simply having a larger following. That's it. That's it. The attraction, and that's, and that's, and that's what I'm trying to say. That right. Yeah. So I'm trying to explain to her that listen, it's going to be more work it's on the, the internet, front end. Hello, it's global. It's right. The internet business. It's right. a global it's business. Global business. So I have more work and more sacrifice and more risk up front. on the front end. Right. Right? The reward on the back end is... Right, but the reward on the back end is, is far more. Tenax. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Right? So it's hard for her to get it because women always want to go with the stability. But right. that's why women aren't natural risk takers like like we are. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you found something that works for you. I'm glad that you can step away from working for other people and work for your damn self. Yeah. Enjoy your life. Create more experiences and opportunities. You never know. You never, never know, know. What's, what's, what's around the corner when you're working for yourself. When you're an entrepreneur, you never know what tomorrow's going to be. The crazy break. part, that, that, yo, the crazy part is, is you. I mean, like, you can control, you're like. You're the wild card. You can, you control, like, listen. Right now, Scott, if you're ambitious mm -hmm. and you're uh, an action taker, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's kind of a, if yeah. you're ambitious and you're not kind of action and whatever. But if you, if you, like, hey, look, I got ideas up the at. Okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Like, right now. Dude, it just hit me. Yo, let's do a clothing line. Oh my God, I got connections in the, in the fashion industry. I mean, once you make good fucking shirts and tank tops and bras or whatever yeah. for, for, for chicks. For men them. and women. Dude, it, men and women. Yeah. It, it, they're, they're, they're very famous. Mm. They're women, yo, men and women clothing. That's what really, you. Yo, for sure, bro. And not just bigger than merch. Like I'm talking about actual clothing line. Mm. Oh, we're gonna, we're doing that. Right? It's under, you know, we're underway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The projects don't stop. Like it's not just that's, that's why I tell people it's not just porn, bro. We're gonna do some dope ass shoots. I wanna. Mm. I, my goal is to put Busty like we're gonna. I want some of the content to be damn. And this is happens. I see guys on our breast guys, mm -hmm. right? They play, yo, shh, come on, shh, I like what you do. The quality I'm, of it, I'm yeah. A titty, I'm a fan. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I wasn't one before. I didn't like that before, but damn. <laughs> like, yo, hello. That's like the girl who didn't get the reduction. When, they, when the fellas tell me, yo, I'm not, I wasn't a breast man, but damn, dog, you put me on to something. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm no, thinking I'm about it. And we just start, we want the shoots to be amazing. Mm -hmm. We want, um, Old established talent, right? Uh -huh. I'm reaching out to a huge name right now. I'm not gonna say her name. Huge talent. She's she's older. A, a Guinness Book of World Record holder. That should probably be big enough right now. Just this morning, we're getting. I just I gotta. She probably email me back, but uh -huh. got in contact with her. We want. Hey, let's do a project. Whatever you want to do, interview, baby. Whatever you want. Whatever do. you want to do. But I, I know we're gonna make it hot. Now, uh -huh. there's new girls is coming on, right? The respect thing before, not just to uh -huh. turn and turn them. No. Let's, let's put you on, let's interview, let's get you, you know what I mean, yeah. whatever I can do. Yeah, get you locked in. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what Barry's about, man. Barry Loves Booze is about booze, man, celebrating them. Mm -hmm. Celebrating Busty every day, man. I love it. All right, man, listen, we're going to get out of here. I want you to check my boy out. Go over there, show him some love. I know some of y'all probably into the big, big booby booby boobies, too. So, hey. Nothing to be ashamed about. <laughs> Just find a community that suits you. <laughs> no, nah, it is what it is. That's find it. a community. Hey, find a community that suits you, bro. All right. So I'm gonna be a fly on the wall. I want y'all to go check them out. Get in the comments. Let us know what you think. And we're gonna be back with another one soon. Believe that. We're gonna be probably hitting the streets soon and getting some in-person content. Oh, that's on the fun, spot. man. I think we got it. Yeah. I, I love. You know, his search for the boobies continues. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a lot easier for me to find the type of girls I'm looking for. They're a lot more common. I might as well just help out. So you probably be seeing more of me. Mm -hmm. out. Yeah, but I'm gonna interview one of your big booty titty girls and try to ask, you know, try to ask her <laughs> yeah. about her experience working yeah. with that yeah. and how the guys treat her and everything. Of course. All right, guys. So listen. Achieve your greatest. Uh, also, if you got any special requests, uh, you know, jump up in the uh, the the email. Email me. Make a contribution. Donate to the channel. And yeah, we. How you doing? All right, we gotta get on the prowl, y'all. All right, so I we'll think see. We found man. a movie. Got us yeah, right now. Keep it authentic, y'all. Peace. Part two is coming real soon. <laughs> <laughs> we got about one ton of titties on the dance floor right now. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice.
love, very love.